guys and welcome to day 14 of your fossil advent calendar. So I thought for today's episode I would follow on from yesterday and do it on another class of a kind of demata. So I'm going to be talking today about starfish and brittle stars. Now they are still alive today so they're another example of living fossils but they came into our fossil record about 450 million years ago during the Ordovician period. So they have been around for a long time but starfish they are mainly a soft body organism so they don't preserve that well but we have got some really exceptional preserved fossils from the record um, but they need to have very specific conditions in order to form because they do just disintegrate when they die um, it's typical of starfish so to get a nice complete specimen take specific conditions but uh, they take a lot of time to prep as well if you find them especially the brittle starfish so finding them is step one prepping them whole nother story but they are really amazing creatures and I'm sure some of you may know that in the modern species that we see they regenerate their limbs so if a predator is attacking them they can just disin uh, disintegrate uh, <laughs> disconnect one of their limbs and uh, let the predator eat that and they'll just grow it back it's very efficient actually and they do this by using stem cells but they can also sense if they've got a diseased limb and uh, just disattach it and grow a fresh one it's kind of just like Wow, they really are advanced creatures, so I think that's pretty cool. So I just wanted to mention about their ability to regenerate limbs because imagine, it's just so cool that creatures can do that. Anyway, I'm gonna now jump to some examples of fossilized starfish. I will show a few of living just to show you guys because I think they're cool creatures. But um, yeah, unfortunately I have yet to find a fossilized starfish. I have, at, that's a lie, I have found part of a brittle starfish because you can find them along the Jurassic coast, but they're in massive boulders. So you can't, you need a rock saw to actually get them out. And uh, I don't think that's appropriate. Like it leaves such a nasty mark on the environment using a rock saw, like just these massive cutouts. But unfortunately fossil sellers and collectors some of them are hardcore and they do use these machineries and uh, they don't think about the aftermath it leaves, they just think about the money they can sell it for. So um, yeah, we gotta take things into account when fossil collecting, like some things just aren't worth it. But the, spe the specimen I found wasn't complete, it was just a limb, but uh, still cool to find. So, but I don't have it to show you guys, unfortunately. So I'll put in some other examples, but I just thought I'd mention it because we're on starfish, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So I thought I'd start by showing you some examples of living starfish. So here is a lovely specimen and then we've got another one here. And then uh, the brittle starfish, I think they look so different to normal starfish. Like uh, they look kind of like spiders with their limbs. Like I find them a little bit weird to look at, but uh, I thought it'd be cool to show you guys rather than just the fossils. So here are some modern examples. And then I also wanted to include about the regeneration of the limbs. So we can see here three of the limbs are growing back after being disconnected. And then I also have another example, which is more on the amusing side. I shouldn't laugh really, it's just, you know, biology, but uh, it's amazing what starfish can do, I think, when, in terms of their regeneration. And then here is a lovely fossilized example of a starfish. And then uh, this is a brittle starfish example. And then I thought I'd have to include one of the specimens you can find along the Jurassic coast. So this is a deathbed of brittle starfish fossils. And uh, this was actually found at Charmouth, I believe. So they really hit the jackpot with this specimen. I mean, it's beautiful, but you can see how intricate that prep work must have been with all those legs. Like I couldn't even imagine how long that must have taken. Actually, I. I just called them legs, but they're limbs, and I think they're actually all referred to as arms on starfish. So, uh, my apologies. The prep work around all those arms. So that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video all about starfish, because who wouldn't? But, uh, hopefully you're looking forward to tomorrow. I'll link down below all my social media if you'd like to check any of that out. But thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time.